Orson. Mark calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Mark calling Orson. Come in, Fat Masterson. Hola, Orson, no in casa. This is the housekeeper, Keith Barlita. Talk first, I am watching the edge of work. And when will he be back, Keith Barlita? No, say. He's at his club. He get drunk and then he come home and say, Keith Barlita, I want you bad. Yes, <laughs> go now. Elizabeth Taylor's on. Boy, adios, you fine young thing. <laughs> Never given her that Fernando Valenzuela poster. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Mom. Mom, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, uh, ex excuse me. I I'm awfully sorry, my friend. I, I was just trying to call my mother on Neptune. Oh, you're from Neptune? D d you, you don't know Bobby Klebko, do you? Are you kidding? I dated his sister! Are you kidding? That gorgeous uh, ball girl? Uh, oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> my name is Kalnick, but please call me Cal. Okay, everybody does except my car salesman who calls me Guy. You know, hey, Guy, what you doing, you Guy? Oh, uh, 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 well, Nanu, I'm Mark from Mark. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have been on Earth for so long, I'm starting to pick up some of their primitive customs. You know, lately I've even started raising my arms on roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. But you live on Earth? Mm -hmm. Me too. No. What do you do? Well, I'm an observer, and I enjoy folk dancing. I I'm an observer also. Yeah. Yep. I I in my spare time, I'm a homemaker, though. Yes. Yeah. I like to take care of my son, and one day hope to make big money stuffing envelopes. You're married, huh? Yeah, yeah. Me too, but don't laugh, OK? She's an Earth girl. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> so is mine. No. <laughs> Does yours use Noxema? Yeah. <laughs> Does yours buy those little soaps that she won't let you wash with? <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy. <laughs> well, you dated Bobby Kipka's sister. Yes, have you heard from uh -huh. her? Well, uh, I don't want to spread any rumors, but I heard that she's turned amphibious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad it's raining. That bully that keeps beating me up across the street, he has to stay in, too. Shh. Mert, Daddy's working. Shh. Are you kidding? He isn't working. He watches Love Boat the same way. Well, when he watches Love Boat, he keeps mumbling his dentist call on again. Uh, sweetheart, why don't you go upstairs and get out of your wet slicker, okay? No, I don't want to get out of my wet slicker, okay? I want to stay in my wet slicker. Mert. First! Please, girl, I've asked you never to come aboard. Murray. Not in time, we're getting heavy gales. Northeast by southwest. By southeast by southwest by northeast. Go below. Take those groceries and help yourself. Be careful of the cabin boys, small and tiny, and it bites. <laughs> oh, look at those. <laughs> oh, seaweed. <laughs> Who knows, it might be in an Nantucket museum. Save it. It's aboard the Pequod. <laughs> When will we see the whale, sir? When will we see the whale? Well, you can't miss it. They're quite large. <laughs> they have Gregory Peck on it, just like this. <laughs> the little girl, she'll be on the bow, just like this. Captain, sir. Yes. Captain, sir. Yes. The storm is breaking. Is it? Yes. <laughs> I think you should go upstairs and change into your jammies. I think you're right. <gasps> Good. You know, the crew is out of line anyway. They were talking mutiny, mommy. <laughs> Oh, Min, Min, put away those groceries and do something wonderful to your hair. Put some magnetic beads in, because tonight we're stepping out with a terrific couple. Mark, I told you I'm not going to the Salvation Army Lua with Exodore and his sister. <laughs> Min, that's next week. Tonight, we're going out with our new best friends, Cal and Tracy Andrews. Now, we should check with me first. You know what happens every time we go out with another couple? We can never get close enough to them to stay friends. I mean, they brag about their kids, and we have to pass Murph off as a visiting professor from Salon. <laughs> now, come on, now. We won't have to do any of that stuff for these people. Why, are they blind? <laughs> you, you don't see. They're just like us. I mean, she's from Chicago, and he's from Neptune. <laughs> There's life on Neptune? Well, not after dark. Oh, except for one little rib place in the inner city. <laughs> 
It's, uh, they also serve seafood. You can get my main lobster. What's happening? <laughs> I mean, Kel doesn't have three heads or, or eat wood or anything. No, I don't eat wood, although mahogany does make great croutons, and they never get soggy. Oh! oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kel. Hi, I'm embarrassed. Oh, hey, Bison. Hey, what's up? Kel, I'd like to be my main gal here, the, the light of my life, and the one I get my extra pickle to. Oh. <laughs> And I would like you to meet the only girl in the universe for me. Unfortunately, she couldn't make it, so I had to bring my wife. <laughs> he always says that. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to meet both of you. You know, my favorite cousin's name is Mindy. Oh. What a coincidence. Mindy's name is Mindy. <laughs> Mindy, Mork tells me you're in television. Maybe, maybe you can answer this for me. Why is there no Channel One? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, well, see, uh, when television was first invented, uh, 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 no, see, the FCC has special frequency regulations, and, and uh, um, I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> the search goes on. <laughs> she may not know that, but she sure can adjust the vertical hold if you catch my drift. Oh! <laughs> you to me well i was working as a nurse's aide when cal came in with re-entry burns <laughs> <laughs> and out of all the girls on earth he chose me <laughs> you know mindy we must be the two luckiest girls since the other two mandrell sisters <laughs> Where's champagne, sir? oh thank you chuck i'll do the honors thank you very much very good sir. I think you'll like this one. It's from the Chateau region of Arkansas. Mm. <laughs> oh, to Billy Bob. <laughs> it, it says bottled somewhere near the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there we go. Little touch here. There we are. Oh, oh party! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you are my kind of guy, oh. Morgan. <laughs> I never had a friend like you, Kel. You know, we are going to be closer than Karen Black's eyes. <laughs> uh, Mark, why don't we sit down and talk seriously for a moment, okay? Yeah, I think you're right, Kel. How about this? Famine, Flood, and Alexander Haig, huh? <laughs> Mark, have you ever noticed that this planet offers opportunities that a couple of guys like us could really take advantage of? I mean... Aren't you tired of, of just sitting around being an observer when it would be so easy to just step in and take a piece of the action? You and I could really accomplish something very significant here. Oh, really? You mean like change the smell of tar? <laughs> That's not exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> uh, uh, Wow. <laughs> Company. Are you anybody I should know? Uh, Carol, uh, Tracy, this is our little bundle of joy, our bouncing baby man, Mirth. Uh, hi. Oh. Hi, Mirth. Hi. Hi. Childlike. And, and he's even cuter when he's upstairs asleep in his bed, aren't you, Mirth? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, come on now, men. What's good at having a kid if he can't come down and show off for company a little bit? <laughs> come on, Mirth, you do something wonderful. That thing that Daddy loves so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These slippers are a cheat. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> isn't he something? Incredible. Very talented. <laughs> well, if you like that, how about my impression of... Gary Cooper. Why don't you do Gary Cooper sleeping in the bunkhouse, hmm? Mm. <laughs> okay, okay mommy. Well, I'll be moseying along. I'll be going to the bunkhouse. I'm a little uneasy about that because of those bunkies. Tomorrow at 12, 10, 30, they're gonna hang me. I hope the guy has a sense of humor. Last year, he used a rubber band. <laughs> 
I'll be right back. Mirth won't go to bed unless I show him a picture of the boogeyman getting on a plane. <laughs> Are you satisfied with the Orkin? He may be a feeb, but he still has great powers. Though they're no match for mine, I can mold him into whatever I want. What about the woman? She's of no use to us. She'll have to be eliminated. And the child? The son, Mirth, is nothing but a useless mutant. And he does a lousy Gary Cooper. <laughs> oh, oh, Mindy, Mindy, Mindy. Oh. <laughs> we were just talking about how precious your child is. <laughs> no, you weren't. I heard exactly what you said. How dare you talk about our son like that? Oh. I think you two had better leave. Whoa. What's wrong, Mindy? They use those little soaps of yours? Oh. <laughs> they just called your son a mutant. How can you say something so cruel about a special little boy that's never hurt anybody? Oh, hey, space bro, lighten up. But what are you getting so upset about? I mean, we have important business to talk about. We have nothing to discuss. You should leave right now. Look, I didn't want to say this, but let's face it, he's nothing but a hefty half-breed. <laughs> no one calls my son a mutant. You should take a hike. You could have been my ally, but you've made your choice. You'll live to regret this, Orkin. But not for long. Trace, come. Oh, remember, Mindy, you owe me that carrot cake recipe. Night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will show them. Give me your grandmother's carrot cake recipe. They'll starve to death trying to read her handwriting. <laughs> you get out here. If you take any longer, I'm going to start getting interested in girls. <laughs> I know you're in there, Mommy. I know you're in there. Now, I'm going to count to ten. If you're not out here, by the time I count to ten, I'll make a lot of long-distance calls at random. <laughs> like Berlin, London, Paris, Frankfurt, Fayetteville. <laughs> Mommy? Okay. I use the old, the old saver. I'm sorry, I, sweetheart. Tiny heart left my body. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I've been waiting downstairs. I thought you'd slept out for a moment. I was irrigating my ant farm. <laughs> Before the winos wake up. Here, here's your jacket. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna love flying your kite in the park, Mirth. I know and running. Wanna, I know where to run. Walk Christmas. Oh, hi. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Good. Hmm? We're going. No, you're not! Oh, what is there someone following me? <laughs> you have been doing this for three days. Now, no one is following you. Oh. It's okay. Hell made a few idle threats. It doesn't mean he's gonna do anything. Look at Reagan. <laughs> the men you don't know, Neptunians. They end their national anthem with a human sacrifice. Mork, you can stay in here and be afraid of your shadow, or you can come with us. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you, Dad. There's no wind out there anyway. <laughs> Tracy, please open the door. I can't. My mommy and daddy are sleeping. <laughs> oh, Mark, please, I have to talk to you. Let me in. I'm alone. Oh, sure. Tip O'Neill wears tapered shirts. <laughs> if you don't believe me, why don't you check for yourself? Please. What? I think I'll just do that. <laughs> Mark, you were the only.
only person I could turn to. My life has fallen apart. I've left Cal. Ooh, I should have known he was evil when he laughed at old Yeller. <laughs> macho pig, macho pig. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I have tried to be a good wife. I washed his clothes. I darned his socks. I even jogged for him so he could sleep late. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. It's all right. Oh, oh. Huh? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, Mark. Hey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> I have to tell you, Cal didn't meet you by accident. It was all part of his plan. He was just using you. I feel so cheap. <laughs> just wanted to pick your brain to find out what your ultimate mission was here on Earth. Well, originally I was sent to observe the culture, but now I just want to see if Nightline knocks off Carson. <laughs> Why do you want to know? Why? Oh, oh, Mark, I'm, so, I'm just being silly. It, it's just that I haven't had a chance to chat with anyone since Cal left me. Oh. Cal left you? I thought you said you left Cal. I did. Well, we both left at the same time. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're trying to pull a Dacron over my eyes here. Wait a minute. Who do you think I am, the American people? Come on now. Oh, my little Morky Pie. What difference does it make? Just as long as we're together. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know, I know I'm irresistible, but I, I have a wife and a child. I can't support him, but I've got him. No, 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 no. I just want to know what pleases you. Uh -huh. I want to know your <gasps> joys. <laughs> Well, the, the only problems I have is I really can't find a decent FM station. <laughs> no, 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 please, no. No, no, please, no, 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 wait, wait, time out! <laughs> now, let's look at this ration. <clears throat> you and I are, are married people. And besides, I can't keep this up. I, I mean, I'm beginning to hyperventilate, please. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, I just love oh, no, a no. heavy breather. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, are you telling her a story? What is going on? Oh, me? Me, 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 you know me. Uh, nothing's going on. Nothing's going on here. Uh, you know me. I'm straighter than the Chinese children's bangs. Mirth, go to your room. I still think that someday this will make a very sensitive movie. <laughs> Now, come on. No, no. You know I never cheat on you, uh, except in Monopoly, when I'm the banker. I'm sure that there's a perfectly logical explanation. Oh, there sure is. And you've got five seconds to give it to me. Oh, no pressure. Oh, man, you, 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 she just can't keep her hands off me. Oh, that, that, that's not the right thing to say, I know. Oh, oh, Tracy, come on now. I mean, tell her, tell her, come on. I mean, your marriage may be over, but we just got our monogram towels. You take her hands off! You didn't have to take her literally. I have a feeling she's not from Chicago. What a pair of thebes. I am programmed to extract and transmit information for my master, Cal. You're an android. Affirmative. And I am also a bomb. <gasps> oh, what a difference that is. A bomb! <laughs>